Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and this is the seventh of an eight-part video series talking about how easy it is to import information into GiftWorks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the last three steps of the import process. That is, reviewing your information, testing your information, and then actually importing your information into GiftWorks. After that, we'll review to ensure that all our information came into GiftWorks correctly. So to get started, you'll see on my screen that we're at the GiftWorks assignment, uh, assignment screen, or our mapping screen. In this screen, you simply take your fields and map them to where they need to go in GiftWorks. You'll notice that I've mapped my donor, in donor information, the name information up here at the top, the address information right below that. I continue on with some donation information. So for each of my donors, I have two donations. And so I've mapped them to the donation fields. Then I have some donor group information that I've, uh, uh, I've mapped. Uh, so this don these donors can part be part of the sponsor or volunteer group or another group name. Then I have a custom field, something that didn't belong necessarily anywhere else in GiftWorks, so I created a custom field to hold this information. And then at the bottom I have my uh, donor's email address. So once I'm satisfied with all my mappings, I can then go ahead down at the bottom, I can click the Next button. When I click the Next button, GiftWorks is going to take me to, our, to the Review screen. In the Review screen, GiftWorks is actually going to take time to look at the mappings that I've done to ensure that all my mappings are correct. So once I click Next, you'll see at the top, it's going to show me errors and warnings. Errors will indicate things that are incorrect that will prevent me from uh, continuing. You'll notice at the bottom, this Next button is disabled. I can't continue until I resolve whatever the errors that's, uh, that's contained in my mappings. And in this case, it's showing me or telling me that, that I've mapped my Donation Address 1 City field twice. So I must have accidentally done that. And when you're dealing with large amounts of columns that that you're dealing with all the mappings. If I click the back button, I'm going to need to resolve this before I continue. So I click the back button, and I need to scroll down here, look down this list, and I see that the city field was correctly mapped here for a city, but under state, I incorrectly mapped it to the city field again. And when you are dealing with a, lar a large amount of columns, it's easy to, um, to perhaps overlook or to accidentally uh, map something incorrectly. So I'm going to go ahead and resolve this by simply choosing state instead of city. So I've now appropriately mapped that to state. Um, I can quickly review this again. Looks like everything's good. And I can click the Next button to come back to my review screen. And now I see that that error has been resolved. There are, there are a number of errors that could be caused that will prevent you from being able to continue. But once the, the errors are cleared up, I'll I'll, I can then click the Next button. There are some warnings that may appear um, that, uh, that may give you some insight into what can give you a better import. A warning would not prevent you from continuing, would, but would just give you something to think about. So if you see a warning, make sure you consider what it's uh, telling you. There are a number of warnings that it could show you. And, uh, and so as you, if you see them, just make sure that you consider what they're encouraging you to uh, consider. But once I'm ready, once I've cleared up all my errors and warnings, and I've reviewed, um, sort of the, or GiftWorks has been allowed to review the mappings, I can click the Next button, and we'll come to the, what we call our Test Import screen. Now, on our test import screen, we're going to actually go through, GiftWorks will go through all of your import data and run a quick test on it. It's not going to actually move anything into GiftWorks. There will be no actual import done, but it will just run through it from a test perspective just to ensure that everything looks okay. So to get started with that test, I'm going to simply click on the test import button, and it's going to go through. It doesn't take that long. Um, it, it won't take that long, but certainly depending on the number of rows that you have, the number of donors or donations that you have, it can take longer. Mine was very quick. I only had a handful of donors. So once it, it reports back to me that no errors or warnings were found, which is great, so I can click the Continue button. And But one of the things the test, import, uh, the test import screen does for me as well, not only it runs through a quick test, but it also reports back to me what it's going to do. So even though it a actually hasn't imported any information yet, there's no information that's been moved into my GiftWorks database, what it has done is reported back to me what it will do. So for instance, you'll see at the top, it's going to import a donor named Steve Faithful. It's going to import a $100 donation for Steve, and then a $1,000 donation for Steve. And then it's going to go ahead and import Dave as a donor, and then import uh, a couple donations for him, and then Mary as a donor, and a donation for her. So it's helpful in that uh, not only does it test to ensure that everything's correct, there may be instances under this import status column um, where you may see an error. Maybe there's something contained within the data which is causing a problem. And you'll notice at the bottom this preview window, if, as I click on them, it'll provide me um, individual line-by-line -line results. So if there was a problem, perhaps there was an invalid character or something that was contained in my data, 
uh, there would be a report back to me indicating what the error might be. So as you scroll down, um, if, you, uh, if everything looks clean and clear and what, what it's going to import looks appropriate, you're then to go to, you're ready to proceed to the, uh, to the uh, part of the process when we, which in which we actually complete the import. So I'm going to go ahead and click the next button at the bottom. And then once I've successfully done my test, I'll come to our complete import screen, which this is really the, the place in which you're going to actually do the import, where Giftworks will move this information uh, into Giftworks. So to get started with that, and you notice the screen looks similar to the, the test screen a moment ago, but once I click on the complete import button, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to move this information? Are you sure you want to import this information into Giftworks? And once I click on yes, it'll start to go ahead and do that. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to import back. I mean, it's going to import the information. And it's going to report back to me that there were no errors or warnings or errors were found, which is great. I'm going to click continue. Once again, I can review this information just to see what was actually imported. But once I'm satisfied that everything has been done, I can go ahead and click the done button. Now, the, Im the information's already been um, imported into Giftworks. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and review that information to ensure that everything came in appropriately. So I'm going to click the done button. Once I click the Done button, I can go back to my donor dashboard, click on Donors, and I'll see that Dave, Mary, and Steve have all been imported into Giftworks. Let's go ahead. You'll notice um, if I double-click on the donor, I'm going to point out a number of things. Uh, first of all, you'll see that under uh, uh, just up at the top on the Summary tab, uh, there's uh, summary information that's provided, but we're going to actually go into the, into the other tabs to see the, the detailed information. So I'm going to click on the Contact Info button, and the first thing we'll notice is if I scroll down a little bit under Contact Details, you'll see that the first, middle, and last name were brought in appropriately. The second thing you'll see is that his address was brought in appropriately. So address, city, state, and zip were brought in. Under, this, uh, under the email section, you'll see that his email address came in appropriately. If I scroll down a bit more, you'll notice something a little bit different. Even though I did not map salutation and addressee as part of my import process, I did not provide it. I could have, but I, in this case, I chose not to. Giftworks is involved with the import process even more than um, just what you provide to it. Giftworks will also, in this case, Giftworks has also determined that because you didn't provide a salutation and addressee, Giftworks is going to go ahead and take the information that you provided, and it's going to create ones for you. We feel that uh, certainly as part of your donor information, having a salutation and addressee so that you can use it for correspondence and communication, it's really important. So Giftworks will go ahead and if you don't provide one, Giftworks will go ahead and create one for you. Now, as part of this name, if I had provided a prefix or a suffix that is a Mr. or a Junior, then that, that information also would have been taken into consideration as part of creating a salutation and addressee. So for a formal salutation, it might have been Mr. Faithful if I had provided a prefix. So Giftworks will be sensitive to the information you provide and create the most appropriate um, salutation and addressee. But I wanted to point that out to let you know that Giftworks is involved with the import process um, in a way that, that uh, does more than even the information that you provide to it. If I click on the Details tab, you'll, if I scroll down, some of the things you'll also see is under the Group section, you'll see that I have a sponsor and volunteer and board member group so that Steve was the, the group information was successfully imported for Steve, putting him in these two groups and then the board member group. Uh, if I scroll down a little bit to the custom fields, I'll see that my old system ID was brought in appropriately into this custom field. And then once again, something that we didn't provide to it, but Giftworks does, is it created some record history or some auditing information. So for instance, when the last action was done, you'll see that that's the day that I, uh, this is today, the day I'm recording this video. and. This would happen just a moment ago. You'll see that I imported this information, and it talks about the last action, that it was imported. So you have some auditing information available to you as well. If I go over to the Donations tab, I'll see that the Steve's two donations were imported appropriately, his $1,000 and his $100 donation. I could view the gift to see more information about that. I, I did provide limited information, uh, but we see that his information was brought in appropriately. So you'll see that the information that, uh, that we designated as part of the import process, the information that we mapped, was all successfully brought into Giftworks. We first reviewed the mappings to ensure that we made no mapping errors. The second thing we did was do a test import just to ensure that once it did the actual import, everything would go OK, in which you were able to review the information before it was imported. And once I was satisfied that everything looked OK, I went ahead and proceeded to the, to the actual complete import screen where I could then bring the information into Giftworks. And once that was done, um, once that information was brought in, we see that the information was successfully brought into Giftworks and reflected how it existed uh, in my, in this case, my Excel spreadsheet. 
uh, so that the information and in, in this whole import was a success. And that's certainly what we hope for you. We hope that your import can be a success. And uh, I trust that this video is helpful toward that end. And so thank you for watching.